This is Estrella with a reading for the Divine Masculine Collective. Got a beautiful new deck um, just for you and some really great oracle cards. Um, and anyone who wants to cross watch and see what's going on. Um, okay. Let's do it like this. I already shuffled before I before I started. It's a new deck. Getting used to it. Okay, so you're feeling like you're on this um, your new new part of your journey here. It's kind of exciting. You feel like you're taking a big risk, but it's freeing. Like you've just been weighed down way too long. So take what resonates and throw out the rest. You're very disillusioned by um, life and what you thought you were going to receive or be. But also just on a bigger scale too, just, it just doesn't feel like you wanted to arrive, but it, it's not just about arriving. It's about like the way that the world appears to you. You're just sort of disappointed by people in your inner circle, family, but also just politics and governments, the way that they are handling situations, you just feel like everything could be better and it's, it's weighing on you. So it's, it's your, yourself, your path, the people around you, the, ch some of the choices that you thought that you, the things you wanted as well just like a lot is but that's a lot is is disappointing you or it just feels like your light is dimmed but that's why you're you're on this new path and that's why it's kind of exciting there's like a little bit of hope there seven of cups king of swords I think this could be a couple things. Um, it's almost like you're, this is like you looking at yourself. This is like your capacity to think through things logically and with justice and how you might get caught up in illusions or not be able to choose wisely or get dragged by your own habits. Um, it's like almost like judging yourself or not trusting, trusting yourself to make the right choices or be able to see clearly after some things that have happened in the recent past and people who do cartomancy a lot of the time think of this king of swords as the god card or a god card um because it's like the the highest mental master like a mental master um who's also very he's he's he is so clear thinking that 
he um, doesn't entertain injustice. So you might be feeling also like judged by, there could be a masculine in your life that you're feeling judged by, but I really feel this is more you subconsciously feeling this way about yourself. And because it's in a subconscious position, it might feel um, tough to look at. Tough to look at your um, capacity to fall into a trap based on almost like lustful desires. Could almost be like hedonism. Temptation. The thing is, is that everything in here looks really sweet and good. So how are you supposed to choose? That's where you feel almost weak, weakened in a sense, and you don't like that about yourself. Wow. So in the recent past, we have Queen of Wands and High Priestess. So this represents your Divine Feminine. I have to get clarification, but I'm pretty sure that this means you really recognize who this person is and was. It's like, maybe you thought of her, she or he, gender specific, it's not gender specific, but um, I'm just gonna refer to her as a she, as a divine feminine for this moment here. Creative, fun, someone you're really attracted to, someone confident and all of those things, but in a lot of ways, this person held the keys. You feel like this person held the keys and you didn't see it. And now you do. This person has what you feel like is like arcane knowledge that was hidden from you. And I'll get, rec I'll get clarification as to what, okay, recognition um, maybe this person is receiving some recognition as well. It's all kind of like coming together for you. And what's interesting is right underneath the deck, we have four, four of wands, which is this like achievement and celebration card. It's like returning home to, to a sweet place where everything's just right and balanced. And you had that with this person. So you're feeling like you have, you're, you're feeling shame. You're feeling like you have a lot of baggage. You feel like it's never going to end. You feel like you've, there's a lot to do and that there's just no way to let go of any of the things that you're, you need to do or are worried about, or things from your past, your childhood even, things that, the way you were brought up, it just seems endless, like, from the choices that you made as well, based on this Seven of Cups and your weakness. Um, you're not liking yourself very much right now, and you're feeling like you have to, um, you might feel a little bit of shame it's almost like the, uh, like you've lost status or s your stature. Um, 
there's just a lot of weight on your shoulders and you're not sure how you're gonna, your life will ever be the same again. You're going to be moving on from something or someone's going to be moving on from something in the near future, moving towards calmer waters. This could be you moving from one city to another. This could be moving house. This could be mentally moving on. It's a swords, swords card. So um, this could be rehabilitation even. Um, this could be moving out of a house, um, but it's definitely mo movement, getting out of, getting out of, stormy waters moving towards calmer waters. If you have a child, um, you could be also making sure that that child is okay but you're not taking everyone with you you've had to leave a lot of people behind who maybe didn't have your back page of wands so it looks like you are wanting to send a message or you're looking at a message um, I'll get clarification on that. That could be news that you're looking at, some kind of news. Could be a child, could be a young person. Yeah, in your environment, people are just seeing you as someone who is walking away from a situation and moving towards something with more meaning. It's like you, you did everything that you could to try to make it work and it's, there was nothing there. So you have to move on. It's, it was emotionally unfulfilling, but it was also, there was just a lot of meaninglessness to it. You might be also moving away from people places and things. Okay, so right now we've got the magician under the deck and what came out here is what you're hoping or, or free, freeing. Freeing. You feel like this or something that you're planning that um, it's almost like wanting to restore yourself um, with this star energy. So it's a couple things. It's like you elevating yourself, elevating yourself, manifesting. You're definitely, this is strong manifestation and you're hoping that it, um, you're hoping that if this is someone, it's like you want to elevate yourself to be able to connect here. Um, you, you want to match their energy. You want to be confident. And there, there was, you felt like there was, when you were with this person, you held this energy, but you almost like didn't believe it. It was like almost too good to be true, but you want to try it again. And there's something that you're planning, but you want to, you realize you reap what you sow. So if you can't plant the right seeds, if you can't do it right, there's no reason to do it at all doesn't mean you're not going to do it. It just means that you've got to, you can't, you've got to come, come straight or don't come at all. That's how you feel. 
but you're, it's not that you're not working on it. You are. You might feel like there's some things you need to learn and you've also got all of this like baggage that you have to deal with. This could be just real world stuff too. Work, uh, bills, um, tasks, things that you've got to do, just like a lot on your shoulders, family, people, people in your ear. So it looks like some sort of dream comes true, true here in this outcome. Um, I don't know if this is your dream come true or if this is their dream come true, but there is someone else's dream come true. But there seems to be something good here in the outcome. A couple things wanting to come out. Something is keeping you up at night. You, this might be some depression. Um, either, either um, just maybe about your own nature, like you're alone. You want to, you need some alone time. You want to take fast action, but that hasn't really helped you in the past. It's sort of like a nightmare. It's almost like dealing with your own inner nature and looking at your responses to things and who you are and who you want to be and whether you have it in you or not. So this is the bottom of the deck, this Nine of Swords. Um, meaning right now, it's it's like a, it's it's like living in a nightmare. It's really feeling like a nightmare in a lot of ways. So let's get a few clarifications here. Let's bring some color into this reading here. Not the best shuffler. Okay, so oop, I don't need everything clarified. Let's look at this Queen of Wands slash High Priestess in the recent past, right? You realize that this is, this, this arch, this person was, had this arcane knowledge about this 10 of cups, which is like joy and manifesting from there and the importance of putting this first. And you're also thinking a lot about how nice everything was. It was beautiful. And that you 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 would wish that you could have put you would have put that first. Ten of Wands. Yeah, that's about yourself. This is also about a journey, this Ten of Wands about you feeling like this is everything that you've got to do to become this emperor. You have a, you might be a person that's in charge of things and it's either that you've got a lot of like weight on your shoulders, kind of like taking care of people and things, but it's also who you wanna be. It's what you expect from yourself, and that's what's weighing on you. It's almost, it's expectations. It's where you have failed yourself or failed others and how you're going to proceed along with all of the other, the weight on your shoulders. You wanna be this emperor. You wanna be the right kind of emperor, the right kind of leader. The Six of Swords. And yeah, this might be you. Wow, so it kind of like came out like this, but then it pushed this way in my hand. So this is the Hierophant. This could be some sort of like high level commitment that you're leaving officially.
um, page of wands. Hmm. This could be a letter. This king of pentacles. Hmm. News from a man about leaving. This could be some kind of news. This could be business dealings that you're walking away from or you're walking towards where you've got to clarify something. This could be some sort of business announcement, something going on in your business life or something to do with this King of Pentacles, a business partner um, that you could be moving uh, away from a situation with. You could be moving away from this person or towards this person, or this is you making a decision about money um, or some sort of like about your finances or about the way that you are going to deal with your assets and how you're going to move forward. And this is about you sending this message. This could be you dealing with like an attorney or a lawyer. Oh, that's the same thing. Uh, I was just going to say a business consultant or like a, someone who can help you navigate this next phase. This could be someone you have to walk away from that's in a power position, something like that. And there's like either message or news about it, something like that. You either have to send a message, you're receiving a message, or there's something that's coming out that, that can be read, some sort of news. You could be also wondering if the Divine Feminine, I'm not sure what they're doing and if they have this King of Pentacles. Um, Divine Feminine, meaning this High Priestess slash Queen of Wands, which could be why you're watching this reading. Eight of Cups. People see you walking away in your environment. Wow. So it's like, this could be a Leo. Um, having the spiritual strength um, to walk away from a Ten of Pentacles situation, which is like a lot of money was put into this commitment and families were involved and it was supposed to be something that lasted um, and it's it's a um, it's a big tower moment for everybody it's a big shocking thing it's like the foundation wasn't there um, it was just built on lies or there was something that wasn't strong enough to keep it together and maybe um, there's some people who are really surprised by it or um, there could be fighting um, that you're walking away from. To, there's like a big, um, just a lot of anger. People trying to push you around and all that too who don't maybe respect you. You're tired, you're tired of all that. That's just, that's why you want to be this emperor. You, you are taking charge now. You can't let people tell you what to do, where your trajectory is. It doesn't matter. You're seeing that it doesn't matter because ultimately you're the one that has to live your own life. And why can't it be something that you actually enjoy? And, and it, if you don't choose this, a lot of things are gonna, you're gonna end up at a tower moment. But there's something else here. Oh, maybe it'll come back to me. The star, king of wands, seven of coins. Star, king of wands, seven of coins. Huh. 
planning on sending a message maybe. Maybe you're watching this star. Gossip. Could be you're worried about what people are going to say, but I feel like you're... Or it's not so much you care as much what people think anymore. It's more how you go about doing what you're doing. That you don't... You manifest on your own more now without some of these other people's two cents. You, this almost feels like you're creating this tower where people are having towers around you. A lot of people knew this was, how, this has been, this has been happening for a while. So it's interesting that this tower, it's like that anyone is surprised at all. But what's interesting is, is that there's no, so far there has not been this karmic female in this reading at all. All I see is the divine feminine. There's a karmic female here that you, it's more just like the structure that you're walking away from. This could be also moving away from tradition and the way that what people expect from you. It's Knight of Cups. That's, you know, Nine of Cups, ending on the Nine of Cups is good. That means that you're, you know, it's not a 10, but it's a nine. That's, that's, that's better than, um, it feels independently happy is what it feels like. Um, wow. I don't know what that means. I feel like it's more a message for me to not share exactly this. Something that you're working on, maybe you're dealing with some karmic energies and um, it might have to do with a new beginning, but I also got this death card. Um, this could be like a, um, a complete remaking of your, it's like a re rebirth. Um, you might be taking some actions, but I just feel like you're dealing with maybe cross watchers or something like that. And that outcome, I feel like you're on a good trajectory. Um, so keep going. I'm just going to clarify a few of these things. This Page of Wands, this King of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, with this Kipper cards. Great Fortunes, this that with, makes sense, King of Pentacles. This is about money, Great Fortune. News about this fortune. Hmm. Yeah, this could be like a legal situation, dealing with a karmic energy, something about handling money or how things are, this news, this message. I don't know exactly. I'm going to leave that there because that feels like private. This um, tower. This tower. Interesting. There's something going on. There's this King of Pentacles here. There's someone else involved here. There's something else going on here with this Eight of Cups. It's in your environment. This, yeah, it's this community. This Ten of Pentacles this groups people that are attached to maybe this could be a business partner or someone connected to it's maybe like everything that was created from this hierophant that you're now moving on from there's like a tower happening here
maybe an entire network that you have to walk away from or that is all falling apart. One more. Yeah, it has to do with either this high level commitment or some sort of agreement. Sometimes marriage for me with the kippers could be business. But I do think. This could be something that has affected your health. Interesting because I'm done with this deck here and I've got bad health. I've got five of swords under this deck and I've got nine of swords under this deck. So, and then right under that is this, is this seven of wands. Like you have been, you're in the middle of something really tough here. You're, it's like, not that you're fighting for your life, but in some cases, yeah, there could be some big legal things happening here. Some really big things happening here. Um, got courthouse, bad health, imprisonment, coffin. There's some really big things happening and having to do with your you, who you want to be with and the journey the journey that you took. You have a lot of concern about all of this that's what this message is it could be you're worried about something coming out having to do with this karmic female some way that they are the way that they went about getting money and potentially also something to do with a house and maybe also something that they did to the divine feminine um and then in some cases they might have been cheating and there could be a child that is or isn't yours and that they were just sort of like after your money maybe or you were involved because of this money situation and it was a lot of this was about clout and just the way that people thought about you and them it was almost like putting on a show in a way and it just left you kind of in a really bad in a really bad place and so there are multiple sort of like for each divine masculine there some of these stories are yours and some of them aren't because it's a collective read but a lot of the reason why it's a ten of wands is because because for a lot of these dms or for you divine masculine you have might be dealing with someone that is have experiencing mental he mental health issues. This could be you experiencing mental health issues. This could be you really, really depressed and feeling paranoid. Um, this could be you having physical, physical ailments because you um, went through something that was super stressful. There could really be um, some, somebody did something really not you know not something illegal and is really going to jail um this could be something where you feel like you're in spiritual jail now after you know there's like judgment for your actions you could be feeling like that someone could have died or this could be a metaphorical ending um and also you might feel like this karmic energy kind of did things premeditated that you didn't see which is where you're feeling shamed um, you're really worried about some sort of information getting out there or the way that you're going to have to say it. Um, this could be like a response to something, some sort of message that comes out. And, um, yeah, there's just something a little bit off about the way that this, this karmic energy and this money, um, and yeah, there could be some cheating and children involved here. And there's just a lot. Way too much for one commitment to have gone wrong. So that could be also what some of these towers are. So I got these 
Um, I got these oracles for divine masculine, I think, but I might use them for general readings or divine feminine as well. But let's just see um, what the message from spirit is to the DM. Do one more. So you might be going through like a kundalini awakening, <laughs> like the ascension process. So if you're feeling like this is like if you this should help you understand your point on the map where you're at. This is a kundalini awakening. It's like a next it's an it's ascension process. We've got um, Tree of Life here. So um, a lot of this, even if you're a little bit more traditional, you're a little bit more traditional, um, one thing also you could look into is actually doing some Kundalini yoga for one. That could help you um, process a lot of this and Speed up karma. Kundalini is good for that. And the tree of life. In regards to the tree of life that's underneath the deck, what do we need to know about the tree of life? Solar plexus chakra. Wow. A lot of Leo energy here. Um, this is about where you're getting your energy from, your the actions you take, actions you take. If something feels hidden as far as like the actions you take or if you're feeling debilitated uh, about your, your pride, something about pride, you're feeling debilitated about your pride and your 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 reputation, your confidence, your pride, this all has to do with the tree of life. Um, the yellow, let me just see if I'm taking this map the right way. I almost feel like, because in the tree of life, you've got this tip, tip areth, tip areth. So that's the yellow. Sephiroth, so the yellow Sephiroth on the tree of life. Let's just look in that symbolism. Kundalini helps with that. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of um, exercises for balancing your, your chakras and your energy. Um, but this is important here, this yellow, 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 even though the moon is not yellow here, it's represented as very, it's like, um, your instincts, your instincts, your instincts, your instincts. This is what you're, ch you feel challenged by your instincts, your intuition being fooled. Also like what downloads you have, the thoughts, how you, how you receive information your intuition, especially as it pertains to things that might be tempting. So downloads, Kundalini is also good for this. Um, prideful actions, maybe. Okay, so let's look up to this Sephiroth here, this yellow one. Um, Look up this yellow Sephiroth. I think it's here we go. To breath. Cathar. 
Tipereth, keyword beauty, the six Sephiroth, balances Chesed and Gabura. It rests in the middle, middle pillar of the tree below the non-sphere, Dath, the void, knowledge, and enlightenment. Tipereth is often seen as a reflection of Kether on a lower plane, hence it symbolizes self-consciousness. Tipereth also represents compassion, integration, and miracles. It is the visible product of the divine in its manifested form, also embodying the desire for life. Tipereth is the heart of the tree and is a sort of central balance. When Tipereth appears in your cards, you are being asked to examine your emotions. Do you pay attention to how they rule you? Do you acknowledge them or do you shut them out? This card asks you if you're being true to yourself as self-love, not vanity, is chief among healing yourself and resolving the issue at hand. That makes so much sense because this Leo here, you know, a lot of the time there could be a lot of like pride. And this is, the moon is about emotions. And that's where it's like this like shame where you're, you're not liking yourself right now. And it's like being able to take action, clear action. You want to be, you want to be clear. That's, you feel like that's how you're going to like yourself better. Um, and also it's been, you know, where you felt like maybe your emotions were more in check than they are or something like that. So the, the answer is from this reading is like in order to move through this next phase about being true, about being true to yourself, because that's what you want here, this emperor, being less swayed by, by people and also by temptations where you can't seem to see what's clear or not because you might be based, doing things based on your ego. Um, that's some of it. And because you feel like you missed out on a lot by not being able to truly connect with your emotions, um, which you missed, you missed. That's what you feel like. And so you have to try to navigate these emotions here um, and being true to yourself. So this is all pointing back to like self-love because if you do that, um, you, you'll be able to take better actions and think more clearly. And so it's almost like an oxymoron because if you can suss out your emotions, then it's easier to make these clear decisions that you are trying to to make so that you can have more confidence in yourself and it all leads back to self-love so um <clears throat> can we get a card on self-love for the dm please card on self-love for the dm education so it's like everyone has to learn something so this is just a lot like a piece of life where you know you just got to just dig into it and um magical map shifter you know you're a great manifester this is only going to help you to empower yourself and um so you so even if you feel like you're going backwards or you feel like weakened by something you feel like less confident. This is a piece of the, the map This that will help. Yeah, I keep seeing like this map where it's like if you need to know where you're at on the map and be able to manifest, get, regain your power, but, but even more so, it's leading back to the self-love on the tree of life. And you might want to look up more about the tree of life and Kundalini and self-love self-love i don't know if this deck is going to be the right it's interesting because passion is here interesting passion feels like discerning between what is love what is passion but also this feels like 
lust, passion, desire, confidence, ego. It's like a mishmash. But your true passion is something where you feel more about passion. Wow. Partnership. So this might be something that passion in a relationship, in a partnership, you want that. You want to feel passionate about the person that you're with. You don't want to make logical decisions based on ego. You want to make decisions. You want to truly be passionate about the person you're with and this i'm not even really getting like root chakra sexual energy from that i'm getting like you genuinely care you know that you genuinely care about this person because you're passionate about what they do and create and there's something about them that it feels like something's always new or blooming or you're passionate about, you almost feel for this person like you love them as much as you love yourself. It's like, um, it's always giving, there's an always giving feeling from this, like this fifth house, this passion. You can get, you get lost in the moment with this person. It's like painting this painting, but it's just like everything comes alive with this person. That's like how you, you know, in this partnership that feels like even it's always giving, there's like, it's always giving. And you, that's how, you know, for one, but I had asked about, um, self-love. Yeah, I, I'm going to leave it here, but I just want to say this solar flares activate. This is sun energy again sun energy this is about your activation you're going through this kundalini awakening um which is also about activation um very very much solar plexus um confidence so when you get through this or what you're going through is like your your ascension it's a, another version of the awakening here and you're just you know you're just learning some things um, and a lot of this is about like returning to self-love, which maybe you already know that already. Um, so that's a really good focus, um, focus point to kind of like learn more about, um, learn more about, so you know how to trust yourself more. All right. I hope that helps. Bye.